Marvelous Monday to you, everybody. Welcome to Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. I'm Barbara Dave, and we're going to do our second video in our three video series that we do each and every week. And we are going to do a lot of the same today uh, because the C trials for CBL Orion, uh, CBL Soap's newest uh, soap base, uh, we're going to do today. Except today, uh, unlike yesterday, we're not going to face leather, we're going to bowl leather, which I don't do too often, but I want to see how it acts. So we will be lather, uh, bowl lathering in our Captain's Choice Bowl. Uh, and as far as the post-shave products, we once again will be using California Sunrise uh, Aftershave Tonic and the CBL Apothecary Shave Oil. Now, I will say I used two drops on my face, two drops on my neck yesterday. One drop will suffice. Uh, believe me, it will. Uh, for the razor, kind of a special shave today. We're going to be shaving with an H diamond, a uh, little bit over 5 eighths square point that I just honed for Tim Milk Crate on the shaving cottery form. It is a beautiful razor. It's hard for me to send this back to him because it is actually gorgeous. Took a great edge, I hope. Uh, we did a cotticule uh, Dillicott method and then finished it up on the black Arkansas stone with a Dilu Arc method. So we'll see how that does. Uh, it has been stropped uh, 50, 100, uh, 50 on linen, 100 on uh, leather last night, and then I just did another 25 and 50 uh, to get it ready to shave. Uh, for the brush today, we're going to be using another synthetic, and it'll be uh, the Eric Sorrentino Brushworks uh, Corleone, and it's got the uh, synthetic knot in it, so we'll see. Uh, I did uh, take uh, about an almond size, maybe a little bit bigger than an almond sized uh, snurdle and put it into the bowl and then just floated a little bit of water on it to see how, how she acts. Now, one thing that Chris did say is after uh, doing a bowl lather is to let it rest for a few minutes. And as I said, I'll just add little bits of water just to get her going. But it bowl lathers real well. I mean, you can see the starting of it. Probably you should have used a little bit of a taller brush, but that clink can be a good thing, right? Add a little bit more water to the bowl and incorporate that in. The water incorporates real well into it. I'll finish this up uh, face lathering. I had a great Zoom call last night. Our newest uh, old guy, uh, Mr. Doug, joined us, and it was nice. We had a smaller group than normal, but uh, pretty nice as it was. Okay, so this is bowl lathered. Bowl lathered real easy. So we're going to see how she does with a straight. As I said, the scent, uh, definitely a four to five all day long. Feels great on the face, as I mentioned yesterday. Like I said, I don't bowl lather very often, so. Okay, let's see how she does. Super slick. The uh, straight 
glides very easily. Got a nice residual slickness when you're catching areas that have already been shaved. Cauticule edges are known for being very, very smooth. A little bit harsh maybe for the first two shaves, but when you add the arc into it, it adds a, leather, uh, uh, a uh, level of refinement. In my opinion, that really lends itself to a straight razor shave. First pass pretty well. Um, as I always do, I will strop this 10 and 10 just to keep the edge sharp. It's a nice little singer of a razor, too. Really not much, of, not a ton else to say on the soap itself other than the fact that uh, CBL soaps knocked this one out of the park. Um, really, really enjoying this. Okay, let's see how she does on a pass two. And based on how this razor took an edge and how smooth the steel is, I am definitely going to be searching for an H Diamond Haishi. The one that I really want, I've been hunting for, but not been able to find, because really there's only two. Some of you are going to laugh when I say this. There's only two straight razors. Well, okay, maybe three. Well, no, maybe four that I really want. One is a Philly 13, and I guess I'm being too picky about the type I want. The other is the H Diamond Hayashi like this, but in the purple scales. And those are hard to find. And then, of course, a custom Max Sprecher, who is a member here. The latter I will be able to have fairly soon, if I decide to. The other two are going to take some searching, I think. Oh, tremendous. I got to say, this edge, this edge is very, very nice. Not too, uh, not too harsh on the first time around. I may run it across the trans arc or the black arc one more time just to smooth out the edge a little bit, but I really don't think I need to. We'll strop again.
I've mentioned this before, and a lot of people ask, you know, if you're stropping 50, 60 times in the beginning, why do you need to strop again between each shave? As I said, I learned that from an old time barber and what it does is it allows the edge to remain keen much, much longer. You could probably get away with a little bit less than an almond size snurdle for your bowl lathering. Um, there's plenty of soap still left. And as I said, this soap really doesn't require a, when you're doing your cleanup, doesn't really require any additional lather. But you can, if you have it, why not? Why not enjoy it? Fun little razor, Tim. It's a neat one. Thank you for letting me hone it for you. I will say when shaving with a straight, be careful because the residual slickness is very good. And your hand can slip. I'm noticing that right now. Not that that's a bad thing to have happen, just you got to be careful when... Uh, when you're shaving. Okay, great shave, great soap, great razor. Doesn't get much better than that. As I said, I'm gonna see if, I would not do a cleanup with a straight razor without water residual, but. But this is plenty.
And the big question is, is how, how good is the slickness when doing the fool's pass? This to me is the biggest test of an edge and the biggest test of a residual slickness with water for a soap. Absolutely easy. Absolutely easy. Well, Tim, thank you for the razor. It was wonderful. We'll just rinse off here and do our post to see how we did. Definitely DSBBS. Let's see how the Allen, that'll also tell me how keen the edge is. A tad bit more more reactive or more uh, feedback than a uh, than a DE or an SE razor, but that's to be expected. But not not much, not much at all. So Tim, I hope you like the edge as much as I do. It's a nice edge on it. And as I said, you can keep that edge. Um, going for a long time if you uh, strap it between passes, if you so desire. Yeah, no irritation at all. Face seals moisturized. There's plenty of soap left, as you can see. Um, and as I said, not being a bull lather, that didn't go too bad. So, so this will also be the second trial of the CBL Apothecary oil, um, facial oil. And like I said, this time I'm only gonna use one drop on my face and one drop on my neck. Yeah, that's the ticket. One, actually, that's brought roughly one and a half drops by the time I looked at it. And for both the neck and the face, I would not go more than that. Um, I think that that's plenty and that dries down a lot better. I, I will say after last night at about two o'clock in the morning, I was up watching a movie and I felt my face. It was not greasy. It was not oily, but it felt super soft. And the thing is with this, much like that other makers, um, this is better. Number two, um, it's got a cumulative effect, meaning the more you use this, the better your face will feel. And uh, just fantastic. So we'll finish it up with this part of the aftershave. And as I said, this doesn't require a lot either. You know, maybe that much. Wonderful smell. Make a little bit more for the arms. But it works in such good conjunction with the uh, post shave oil. That's what I love about it. Uh, for our talc today, we are going to switch things up because I want to get the see how long the fragrance lasts. Uh, we're going to be using uh, Boral Talco today. Nice Italian brand. Maybe just a little bit more. Oh, just wonderful. Uh, I found, yeah, I didn't put it on my picture yesterday, but today I did. I found uh, that probably the best matching to the California Sunrise that I've seen is probably uh, Duke Cannon uh, Randolph. Uh, it's got a wonderful... Uh, mix that matches a lot of the California Sunrise uh, with bergamot, lavender, and leather. So there's that deeper part at the end. And so, and this is, they call it proper cologne, but it is definitely uh, EDP strength. And again, for Nurse Dave, just for you, buddy. 
And that's it. Well, that's my shave for today, guys. Thank you for joining Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. We certainly appreciate it. If you haven't come and seen us before, what are you waiting for? www.theshavingcadre.com. All kinds of great things going on right now, including uh, Christmas stuff coming and Halloween stuff coming and photo contests and food talks and spicy food challenges. You name it, we pretty much have it uh, at The Shaving Cadre. A bunch of great guys. So please, once again, visit us at www.theshavingcadre.com. I'm Barbara Dave. Thanks for joining me for the Monday Shave. Hope you have a great week.